Hey, what's up guys? I got a project here that I've been working on. Just wanted to share it with everybody. Um, a little solar project. So this is my mobile solar concoction that I came up with. Fix this up. So it's got two 12 volt batteries, 33 amps a piece. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Expert Power uh, got these off of Amazon when they were on sale for $65 a piece. So I got two of them running in parallel, which increased the amps, but does not increase, increase the voltage. And then I have a MPPT solar charge controller. Can handle up to 24 and I believe, yeah, 12 to 24 volts. Maximum PV input power 750 watts on a 12 volt and 1500 watts on a 24 volt. So I'm just running the 12 volt setup right here. I want it to be able to power my computer, my network, pretty much my router and my cable modem, preventing any power losses. Um, this is a little inverter I picked up. It's only a thousand watts. It's called the Jupiter. It's not pure sine wave, modified sine wave. It is modified sine wave, but you know what, it does a job. Kind of went overkill with the, with the gauge of the, of the wires. These are four gauge wires. Probably could have got away with six or eight, but hey, the bigger the gauge, the wire, the better. I, I did get these on sale as well on Amazon. And I believe they were $8 for a pair of black, one black, one red. Uh, two feet so this is my setup i'm charging it right now this is what we're getting right here we're at 12.5 volts it is charging off the solar this is my panel a little 50 watt solar panel <laughs> i bought this guy right here off of ebay i'm um, getting some decent voltage pushed back into the batteries And we'll go ahead and test that out now. So I have my voltmeter here with me. And we're gonna test the voltage on, the, on this to see exactly what I'm getting in. I'm just gonna set it at 20 volts. Go ahead and test the solar panel, see what kind of numbers I'm getting. 15.1112 It's not bad That is the voltage we're getting And as you can see it is charging uh, I'm no power expert or anything like that but I can't put a system together like this Just in case of power outage So the battery we're at 14.93 that's pretty much a full charge, which is not bad. Not bad at all. So the system works, it is charging. I do like it because it has two USB outs on it. And then I bought this little battery capacity voltage. Um, it's pretty cool, it tells you what your voltage is. So let's go ahead and head inside and see if this setup will be able to run my computer. Let's go see what we can do. All right, so here we are, we're back, we're inside. We're gonna check out and see what this system can do. A little pup hanging out. Her name's Oreo. Yep, there you go. Um, I did run my solar inside through the dryer vent so this is just so i can charge it while it's, the system is in the house too if i if i want to uh, so this is what we're going to attempt to run as you can see we're at 12.5 volts we are getting a charge i do like this mp 
PT controller though, charge controller, because it does have the two USB outs, which is really nice. So we're gonna attempt to fire this bad boy up. Uh, this computer has a 550 watt power supply. And then I have a monitor also plugged into the power surge protector and a USB light, keyboard, mouse, and two speakers. And that's my little Raspberry Pi collection, <laughs> if you wonder. Some of my Raspberry Pis, been messing around with those. All right, so let's go ahead and plug her up. Well, first we'll turn the inverter on. All right, we have power. Next, we'll plug the inverter up. There you go. And we have light. Let's go ahead and fire her up. There we go. Let's see what we get. So far, so good. Everything looks like it's running off a of normal pot. Not bad. Hold these straps on. 12.2 volts. 12.1. But we're up and running. And yes, we have internet I'm just running a little Wi-Fi dongle on this computer little 5 gigahertz setup Let's see if we can play a video on YouTube this industry $99 drone is now available in of course we got the ads on Google got to love that this is an extremely high-tech $5,000 drone here we go let's make sure the light works well, it might help if I plug it up see this inverter is pretty nice too it has a USB out on it. Let's see if we get lights. Yes, we have light. So everything is running off of solar right now. Well, off of battery backup. And the battery continues to charge. We have a total of 66 amp hours between these two batteries. They're 33 apiece. All right. Well, not too bad, guys. Setup seems to work pretty well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, until next time, make sure you guys, if you enjoyed this, you like and subscribe. And next time, we're going to be talking about my other setup. This is my battery backup setup that I have. It's the Echo Worthy um, 3000 watt solar hybrid inverter so we will go ahead and talk about this setup next in the next video yeah. and this this is a 24 volt setup too by the way um because it's a 24 volt inverter it can run off of ac or it can run off of solar which is really nice and these are the panels that i have it running off of right now so we'll talk about that next time hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time, hit that like and subscribe.